So there are so many things to know when purchasing a wig. But on this particular video, we're going to talk strictly about knowing the different sizes of the lace. All wigs come with, well, most wigs come with lace on them. So we're going to talk about how to know what size lace you need when you purchase your unit. So our first wig, this is a four by four. Four by four means four inches across, four inches up and down. The first number represents across. So from left to right, the second number represents from forehead on back. So this is a four by four. This allows you to part four inches across, four inches back and forth, okay? So this is a beginner's wig unit, and this is for people who love to take their wig off and put it back on. You do not have to sleep in this, but again, this is a four by four beginner's wig unit because beginner's wig units come in a couple of different sizes, but just so I don't confuse you guys, let's stick to the size of the lace. This is a four by four beginner's wig unit. This unit, this is a five by five beginner's wig unit. Okay, a beginner's wig unit simply is just a wig unit you can take on and off at night if you like but we're focusing on the lace again. So this is a five by five. The first number represents from left to right. So it's five inches across, five inches from your forehead on back. So that is where you can part this unit. This unit, you can literally like center it on your head and it will allow you to part down the middle on the left or right side without having to shift your unit. You do not need glue to keep your units on for the four by fours and the five by fives because the lace is so small on them, they stay on easily, okay? So this is a five by five. No glue is required for a five by five or a four by four. This particular unit is a 13 by four. So again, guys, remember the first number represents from left to right. So 13 means that the lace is 13 inches long from left to right, from ear to ear, and it's four inches long from your forehead back. So this would be considered a laced front unit. What is a laced front unit? A unit where the lace is in the front. That's simple, that's how you remember it. A unit where the lace is in the front. This is a 13 by four, so it allows you to part anywhere within those 13 inches across and those four inches back. A unit like this, to me, would require some type of adhesive, whether it's the glue or whether it's just some type of adhesive that is going to hold this unit down to your skin and allow a flawless natural look. 13 by four lace frontal. And the last unit I'm gonna go over with you guys today, this is a 13 by six. So again, the 13 represents left to right, ear to ear. It allows you to part 13 inches across, meaning from one side of your ear to the other and six inches from your forehead back. This is a 13 by six lace frontal unit. This is a unit where the lace is in the front, the entire front. This one, as well as the 13 by four, in my opinion, requires some type of adhesive to make it look flawless and lay flat up against your skin. So this video was strictly about the different sizes of the lace. Be sure to check me out on future videos or current videos that I already have where I explain the different textures of the wigs and so many other things to help it 
to make it easier for you guys to purchase your wig units wherever you are purchasing them from. But hopefully this helps you out and I will see you guys in the next video.